Hi everyone and welcome, my name is Dora and this is my finale and introduction to Panda's eyeshadows. So last year I was working on six different shades at a time and this year I'm going to go down to five shades at a time and I'm going to stick with that V-top. So each month I allow myself to roll out one shade that I don't really want to work on anymore and to then replace it. And this always ensures that there's at least one new roll in in every update. As I'm sure you know, this project was originally developed by Alexi, who's always linked down below in my description box. But let's just get into it. So I've got six palettes in front of me here and I want to show you how I've been getting on with these six different shades that I rolled in in my last update. I want to say around mid-December. Okay. In no particular order, my first shade comes from the Essence Welcome to Miami palette. And the shade I selected was just shade number eight, a beautiful matte, rosy, mauve type of shade. Here's a swatch of it, and I only managed to use it six times, so it should come as no surprise that I did not manage to hit pan in this. But that's okay. I'm gonna roll it out now. Maybe this palette will feature again. It was the second time that it rolled into Panos eyeshadows last year, so who knows? My next shade comes from my September Rose Cosmetics Still Pretty palette. This is a London-based indie brand, and the shade I randomized is called Primrose. Primrose rolled in at the last update as well. So we've got another pink matte here, but definitely far more vibrant than the Essence one. Just three uses, so obviously no pan either. I was also working on a shade from this Revolution palette here. It's the Forever Flawless Desert Desire palette, and the shade is called Desire. At my last update, I was at 22 uses, and today I am at 36 uses, and I have finally hit pan. Very, very tiny, but I'll take it. This helped my pan percentage, which I'm gonna share with you later on in this video. So this is a matte shade. I used it mainly to, you know, blend out the crease, transition type shade. It's very close to my skin color, so you're barely gonna see it. I was also working on a Natasha Denona shade from the My Dream palette, and the shade is called Aspiration. Aspiration was at two uses at my last update, and after further two uses, I'm now at four uses in total. And here is what Aspiration is looking like now. Somewhere on there, but obviously not a lot. I haven't even touched the rest of the palette, but on those few occasions that I have worn this matte brown shade, I've really enjoyed it. I do understand why people are so in love with the Natasha Denona formula. And yeah, I may have bought another ND palette. The next shade that comes from the Coloured Rain Queen of Hearts palette, I hand selected at my last update. I'm actually gonna keep doing that. So out of those five shades for 2024, I'll be working on at a time, I'm always gonna be hand selecting one of them. I think that's a good thing to do. And I selected at my last update, the shade Queen Mother, a beautiful burgundy, but more like plummy purple shimmer, very buttery and just so nice. Here it is. And I managed to use that eight times. Really enjoyed this one, not just in the outer corner, but also just doing a really sultry, smoky eye look as well all over the lid love this this palette was a gift from louise who's also here on youtube please check her out so yeah i always cherish this very much and i'm quite happy that there isn't pan in here yet which means that it's also still eligible for a project level up palette we shall see what's gonna happen and my final shade came from the revolution pro rockstar nude edition palette and it was called tease at my last update, I was at four uses with T's, and then after just three more uses, I managed to hit pan. So here's that tiny, tiny pan. Really happy about that. Just seven uses to hit pan is good for me. And here's a swatch of it. So yeah, this was my color story, but of course, all of that is going to change now, and I'm going to randomize five new shades now with you. Now, the way I randomize, I'm going to change that. 
I don't want to do the whole number look through the spreadsheet anymore because I always find I don't think I worked on any small palettes that way because if there's only like four shades in there the chances of me pulling one of those is obviously slimmer than from an 18 pan palette so what I've done instead is I've put all of my palettes into this spin the wheel app here and I'm going to randomize five palettes and then I think yeah out of four of them I'm going to randomize the number and then one palette of my choice I'm gonna choose the actual shade that I wanna work with. Let's go ahead. Nice, okay. First palette is by Catrice and it's called Tropic Exotic. I really like that one. This was a Pan That Palette contender for this year. XX Revolution Bare Luxe. It's another popular one. I have hand selected shades from that palette quite a few times last year in this series. So that's a good one. Oh, okay. Revolution Utopia. I feel like I worked on one shade in here already. It looked like it was going to go to my YSL Quint, but not quite. Revolution Pro romance palette okay is that four i think so one final one and the revolution pro passion palette okay let me go grab those and i'll be right back okay i'm back with the five palettes i had to watch the footage again because i should have screen recorded and then i saw the blinding light on my phone screen so apologies about that Okay, I think I've decided I want to hand select from here, but I'm gonna do that at the end and figure out what I'm getting from these four 18 pan Revolution palettes. Okay, starting with this one now. What shall we do in the order of, no, who cares? Just in the order that they're in front of me here. This is the Revolution Pro Romance palette. And here is what that looks like. So this isn't eligible anymore. That's my one pan. And let's randomize shade number 12. <gasps> this is probably the nicest one out of this whole palette. It's this one here called Obsess. So it has a shift from pink to green, I wanna say. Yeah. Okay, this is very nice. Okay, here's a swatch of this. All right, happy, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Next one, Revolution Pro from the same series. And this is the Passion Palette. And here's what this looks like. I have got one, two, three, four pans in here. So a number between one and 14. All right, okay. 13. <laughs> it's this shade here called Vice. A very red berry pink matte, I think. Sort of hard to tell with that pink next to it. This is nice and creamy though. I do like a creamy matte. Oh, yes. Oh, I feel good about this. Interesting. Okay. Next one, I have got the Revolution Utopia palette here. It's part of the Forever Flawless range. I've got one pan in here already. Up here in the shade Enama, I hit that in Panda's Eyeshadows last year. So again, a number between one and 17. Okay, let's do this. Number 10, it's this shade here called Fiction, all right. So a rusty shimmer, rusty red shimmer. Actually definitely pulls more orange on the skin. Oh, vibrant doll. I like that together. Yes. Oh, good, okay. 
And here's the XX Revolution Bear Luxe palette. And here's what this looks like. Again, one, two, three, four pans. So randomizing between the one and 14. Number 14, so that's the last one, yeah? All right then, mm. I'm not too happy, I'm not gonna lie, it's just a brown mat that I'm working on in a lot of different projects already. Okay, I might try, this is super similar to the, it's quite similar to Aspiration here by Natasha Denona. I mean, there is definitely a similar vibe running through these swatches. I think this is all gonna change because I just have a feeling I'm gonna pick something from the Catrice palette that's a little bit more teal, perhaps. Here's the color story. It's between those two for me, actually. I obviously haven't hit pan in any of these yet, but it'd be exciting to try and do that. Um, okay, let me swatch out both of them. Yeah, I'll do that and then make a decision. Okay, so here's the blue and here's the green. I might go for the blue, you know. I think so. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, here's my new color story. Last year's, this year's. So happy. Okay, let me put this up. Here we go. <laughs> I'm really happy with this. This is giving me a lot of dimension. I mean, there's lots of different colors. There's shimmers. There's even a duochrome. There's mattes as well. I'm very happy. Let's see how many pans I can show you next time. Oh, and then we need to talk about pan percentage, obviously. I'm gonna share with you my pan percentage as of the end of 2023, because I obviously had a goal, which, spoiler, I didn't hit that. <laughs> I started Panos Eyeshadows 2023 at 3.1% pan percentage. And my goal was to be up to 10%. So back then I had 326 total amount of eyeshadows and 10 of them with pan. And in December, 2023, I finished off the year with 614 total eyeshadows. So my collection almost doubled throughout the year. Definitely not doing that again. It's not just bad for like my storage space and everything, you know, all the other things. It also really didn't help with my pan percentage, obviously. But still, I finished off with 51 pans in my collection, excluding any declutters, and that came to 8.3% of an overall pan percentage, which isn't bad, I think, but it's not 10%. It's not what I set out to do. Now, I'm going to recalculate that again um, at each month's update. Where am I at? I have already bought a new palette, so there are definitely more eyeshadows here, but I'm only buying one new eyeshadow palette per quarter. If you're interested in hearing all about that, I'm going to link my No Buy Project Pan playlist up here. That's where I kind of go into those No Buy slash Low Buy categories. Anyway, I think I'm going to set myself the goal. I'm going to do 12%. Yeah. If I can reach 12% by the end of this year, I'd be really happy with that. Okay, I hope it's gonna be a success. I'm doing a ton of eyeshadow panning this year. Pan that palette, three palettes. Expand those pans. I'm gonna link that here as well. It's a new project. Do you pat my batter chip over on Instagram? And project level up. There's a lot. But no more putting eyeshadows into any other projects anyway. I'm gonna have a ton of fun with this in January and for summer February as well. And I shall see you in about four weeks for my first update of Panos Eyeshadows. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful start to the year. 
and that everything's going really well for you. And yeah, speak to you soon. Take care. Lots of love. Bye. Thank you.